Good morning. Lindsay's a pain in my butt right now. She's supposed to welcome you to the day. Say, we're so excited. We're up again early so we can go hike up to the arch again. Again. <laughs> we're gonna go do that. We're gonna have our coffee and then we'll come back and have breakfast. It's chilly this morning. Yeah, we're back. Yeah. We're gonna go hike the trail. Yeah, we liked it so much, we're doing it a second time. And if it looks like I'm wearing the same exact thing I wore yesterday, that's because he I am. is. I am. It's I'm one not. Of, one of the joys of traveling, <laughs> wearing the same stuff, sometimes two, three, four times, four days in a row. Yeah. So because we, we walked this yesterday, and we went the wrong way the first time, and then we went the right way, we found out there's an even quicker way to get there. Yep. Ready to go? Yeah. Ready to get there? Okay. You ready to go with us? Here we go. Whoa. Wow, that was a whole lot easier. It was. Yeah. Yeah, we should do that next we again. Should, we'll be there. We should do that for every hike. Every hike would be so much easier. Yeah. We, wouldn't, we wouldn't have to spend all that energy walking yeah. around. Yeah. We're just like, boom, right to the beautiful places. Yep. So that was crazy with the drone. Yeah, so I'm flying it and I got it really high and then these crazy birds started dive bombing it. Yeah. So. I was so afraid that they were going to hit it and stop the blades and it was going to fall to its death. That would have made for some spectacular viral <laughs> um, video footage. Except we wouldn't have had the video footage. I would have figured out how to rock climb. I got my cliff <laughs> bars. I just eat a cliff bar. And ended then up, it would have ended up in the gorge. I just eat a cliff bar and I can climb off the rocks and <laughs> get, our, get our drone. So, but thankfully that didn't happen. But you will see some birds flying around in that footage. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. So that's Corona Arch, and uh, we're gonna take the quick way out of here, right, Lindsay? Oh yeah. Let's let's take the quick way out. Whoa! Man, that was quick. That was quick. These hikes are gonna be easy <laughs> yeah, in Utah. Yeah, that was awesome. If you want to know the trick to that, we're not gonna tell you. <laughs> you should enjoy your hike, though. It was a hike so nice, we had to do it twice. Yeah, we loved it. It was a lot of fun and um, some slightly technical parts, but not horrible. And I'm afraid of heights, and it didn't scare me. So it wasn't- We weren't climbing mountains, babe. Well, I'm we just hiking. saying that, you know, some people know okay. there are a couple of spots. There were six ladder steps. Just letting people know okay. that it's not all flat. Okay, it's not all flat because you're in the mountains. <laughs> in case you didn't know that when you're in Utah. 
the time of year that we're here now, we're enjoying this part of Moab a lot better. So, you know, definitely check it out what time you're coming through. Um, spring and fall are crazy busy season. Summer is stupid hot and we're kind of on the edge. Well, it's fall, so we're on the edge of uh, busy season and, and hot season. So you're able to get a, the same campground we got. It's awesome because you're parked literally right across the street from the trailhead. Yep. So, so that, we just walked across the street yep. and hiked on up. That made our mind to do it twice. We pulled in last yep. night and it was so beautiful out. We said, let's go hike. So we did and then we woke up this morning and said, let's go hike. Next, we are going to go find the Mill Creek Trail. Um, it's supposed to take you to like a little swimming pool with the waterfall. Um, we're going to go try to find that. And then we're going to leave Moab. 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 And then we're going to head down to... Why are you looking at me? You're the Monument the one, Valley. You're the one that knows all this stuff. <laughs> I just drive. That's all I do. So, yeah, we're going to try to get to Monument Valley. Well, we're going to go try to find a campsite try outside. try to find a campsite. We got our hiking on, staying in our cool hiking clothes. We're going to go do this hike and then, um, and then check out a mob. Yep. So, let's get on. <laughs> sure that's gonna hold you? Don't worry about it. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Um, when you fall to your death, I'm gonna it, be pretty well, worried. I'm duly insured. I got great health insurance and I'm worth about a half a million dollars dead. So you should be all right with that. Okay. Chris, <laughs> I don't know if this is a good idea. Change of mind, you know. When in Mob, you gotta climb, right? Uh, I mean, you sure we got the right equipment for this? I got, I got my carabiner, I got my cliff bar, I got my rope, right? <laughs> Is that how they do it? Belay on, I don't know, I I've, don't seen, know. I've, I've seen it in a movie. Okay. I just throw this up there and I start climbing, right? I mean, I guess. <laughs> do I eat the cliff bar or do I just hold it? Well, it gives you energy, right? Yeah. I think you eat it. Are you ready? I'm ready. Just be careful. <laughs> Where? It's up at the top. <laughs> You're going to go all the way up there? I'm going to go up to the top. Chris. All right, here we go. <laughs> I don't think this is going to, I don't think this is going to work out. I, don't think. I I think we should probably stick to just driving through Mob. Maybe do a little hiking. Yeah, that I think that's a better I idea. I don't, I don't think I'm going to <laughs> You look kind of cute right now. I don't think that's going to hold you, babe. <laughs> don't try this anymore. Switched hats, switched shoes. We're gonna go hike Mill Creek because we're an RV. We had to park about a half a mile away. If you're under, if if you're under 20 feet, you can I guess make it up there and park. But it said if you're over, you're not allowed. So, so we're we're over 20 feet. We're gonna go hike. We're still allowed. We're just gonna go hike. And then at some point, as the a mile in is the, I have the waypoints, it's right here. Okay. So wherever that is. Ready to go? Yeah. There's a chance we're going the wrong way. 
said it was overgrown on the... It did? Yeah. Okay. But I don't know if that way goes up into a clearing. Just yeah, this way. Seems like too popular of a place to get this bad. Come on. Let's go. That way? Yeah. Forgot my machete. Follow the, follow the map. That was fun. This is cool. Huh? We should just walk up the creek. Woo! You can go around. This way? Yeah. I don't want to get there. I'll climb up here. This is one of the most convoluted trails I've ever hiked. <laughs> There's no markers. We're using the, uh, what's it called? All trails? All trails. It's been kind of correct. We're back on it now. Yeah, we've been using all trails, which is a great app for the most part. But uh, we're headed off this way. We know we're trying to find a little watering hole in a, what, a waterfall? Yeah, a little waterfall. Yeah. Everest is fine wherever there's water. Oh look, a sign. It says trail. Sign on it. But which one? Which way? I don't like it now. The one with all the footprints on it. If you ever get lost when you're hiking a trail, follow the footprints. If you ever don't see footprints, you're screwed. Of course, you're blazing trails in Kyrgyzstan or Mongolia. <laughs> then there might not be any footprints in front of you. Pretty much everywhere else you go, particularly in the United States, there's going to be footprints. I think I'm gonna go take a bath. A cold water bath. Yes. crazy with all the different uh, places you can turn, all of the overgrowth, but it's definitely worth it. Come here in the summer, I imagine this place is pretty packed out. It's uh, 75 degrees, 76 degrees today, so the air temperature is pretty warm, but we're in the shade, and this is really cold water, so it's refreshing. Definitely a fun little stop, and it's only about two miles outside of, um, outside of Moab, so 
Uh, if you're passing through the area or when you pass through the area, give this place a check out. That was a fun little hike out here. Yeah. That Beautiful was, little waterfall. I loved it. Yeah. The dog loved it too. Oh my cool. She loves anything to do with water. And there's plenty of cold water. Yeah. It was great. So well worth the hike. Yeah, so I don't want to take as long to get back as it took to get out here. Yeah, I don't either. Can we make it fast? Yeah, let's go fast. Okay. Oh, we're back. Yeah, it works every time. Yeah, it's great. That's amazing. That was a good hike, wasn't it? Yeah, that was awesome. So Moab is the jumping off point for really going to see all five U.S. national parks in Utah. And you've got Arches, which is literally right across the street from where we camped last night and did yep. the Corona hike. And then you've got Canyonlands just down the road about 15 miles. And then from there you really dive into the state and you come across Capitol Reef. Capitol Reef is next, and then it's Bryce. And then you have Bryce Canyon, and then you've got famous Zion. Yeah, you drop down into the southwest corner. So, Zion. so we went up that route on our on our way uh, toward Alaska last year, and so we're going to recommend you could either do the national park trip, or you can go the way we're going, which is to Monument Valley. And uh, either way, you're going to end up in the same place, or we encourage you to end up in the same place in Page. Arizona, which is right on the border, and that's going to set you up for being able to go into the Grand Canyon in Arizona, and definitely want to do that. Yeah, well, for sure. We are for sure. Just keep in mind, Moab can be busy at times, and don't be discouraged like we were last year, but we enjoyed our, wow, 24 hours in mm -hmm. Moab. Three really good hikes, one repeat hike, mm -hmm. uh, a little swimming, bathing, I guess, Yeah, and, uh, and some wet. beautiful drives. So we are not city or town people, so we're not actually going into Moab, the town. Um, we'll leave that up to you to explore if you'd like. Um, we just made our sandwiches. Yeah. Yum. So there's no reason for us to go spend any money in town. Yeah, living on the cheap. Living on the cheap. So we're just going to continue on south from this point forward, and we'll be checking in later once we get closer to our campsite in uh, outside, just outside of Valley of Monument Valley. Monuments. <laughs> Monument Valley. Yeah. Can they rename they it? Call it Valley of Monuments. Can, can they rename it Valley of Monuments? Well, you can ask the Navajo Indians. I think if it was in Spanish, it would be right. Valle de Monumento. Yeah. Yeah, Valley of Monuments. See, <laughs> I, I, I'm not that far off. <laughs> we'll check back in soon. what broke, but he doesn't have any water or cool to put in the radiator. So we have plenty of water. So we're hopefully going to be able to help him get them some water. Get them going. Did you film some of that? Yeah. Yeah, they're, um, that's awesome. It was just the water. Yeah, I'm like, oh, we can help with that, definitely. Yeah, and he, was, so. he was surprised that it was just water that, or, uh, that we had water. I said, if you needed, if you 
needed, you know, some mechanical work. There's no way in heck I could do that. Yeah. But water's the easy thing. Probably should have waited for them to get back on the road, but the, the van started right up. Oh, well, that's good. They should yeah. be, I think he knew what he was yeah. doing. Yeah, they said but there was a, a pin. Probably no one else would have stopped. Well, it's that's just, the thing. it was just like our oil. Yeah. It was a pin drop that they saw that it was leaking out of. Yeah. So it had been leaking for a long time and they didn't know it. Good morning. Good morning. No, I'm making breakfast for dinner. Breakfast for dinner, my favorite. My favorite. Look at this. We've got turkey sausage, eggs. I got some. Aguacates over there, some espinaca and some queso. Look at that, I know my espanol. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Learning. Mm -hmm. And it's been a long day, about three hours longer than the truck than we thought, because we decided not to stay at uh, Monument Valley. So we are camped out in the gorgeous, what do you know, spectacular Wally World. Whoa! We're definitely not the only ones. So uh, we made it. We're at Wally World in Page. We're gonna have a nice lazy night, nice lazy morning. Gonna get up, do some work on the internet because we have great service here. And then we're gonna go shopping for a nice one week-ish beach campsite on Lake, oh crap. You and names. Lake Monroe. Lake Lake Page. We're in Page. Lake Powell. Lake Powell. We're gonna go camp for about a week around Lake Powell. We want to try out our kayak in a new place. Yeah. So uh, and it's gonna be like 50 to 80 degrees, so pretty nice temperatures throughout the week as we um, get some work done and get ready to meet up with our friends Joe and Lily down in the Grand Canyon at the end of next week. So, anyway, we are here and the smells delicious. I'm whooped. The dog whooped. is whooped. Lindsay, are you whooped? Yes. You're not even in focus, you're so whooped. There you go. <laughs> Lindsay's whooped. The turkey sausage is whooped. It's chow time. But one last thing for the day, um, as you saw, we got the opportunity to stop and help someone out on the side of the road, and that's a principle that we've just come to do. It's a simple way of sharing love with people we don't know, and, um, and the story of those two gentlemen that broke down it was our story um, just a couple days ago. That's just to say it's a good thing to stop and help people. It's a good thing just to look for opportunities to help people. The parallel between that story and ours is really why we're doing what we're doing. Uh, it's just kind of confirmation that uh, even though we're wandering, we're serving people, uh, sharing love, and just, you know, doing what we can for people. If you like what we're doing, we would appreciate if you go ahead and subscribe to our channel if you haven't already done so. Please make sure to like this video and add a positive comment. We love positive comments and make the world a better place. So please go ahead and do that and of course share our story with anybody you know. We appreciate the support as we wander. Have a wonderful night and we will see you in the morning.